What's up everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I thought I'd do a video about the gear I use just because I get a fair amount of questions on Instagram about what type of equipment I use. So I thought I'd do a quick video so it's a bit easier to just send people the link of the video and they can watch me talking about the gear I use rather than me writing it down every single time. I guess I could copy and paste it but I'm not like that. I get a lot of questions about my vlogging setup so I thought I'd do a quick video about that and show you guys what gear I use from vlogging to everything else I get as well as the editing program I use for all my edits. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Let's go. So first, my vlogging setup. This is my Canon 6D. We actually first got it for photos and that, but I've turned it into my vlogging camera now just because it's got the flip screen on it on the side, which helps me see myself and kind of frame myself when I'm vlogging, which is a lot easier. This thing here is a Joby Gorilla Pod. I think it might be 5K. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. And you can kind of wrap it around anything and stand it anywhere they're pretty decent although after a while they do get quite um, flexible and and these things move a bit easier the more you use them so um, yeah but they're definitely handy for vlogging the thing I like about this one is it's got the adjustable um, head so I can point that down like that and then so when I'm holding it out the camera it's looking straight at me and I get a bit more distance between me and the camera. This fluffy thing on the top is actually a microphone. This fluffy thing is actually pretty good because it's meant to block out all the wind um, and all the background noise which is pretty decent. I usually use it on here but obviously I can't right now because I want to show you guys my vlogging setup. But yeah, that's my vlogging setup. Decent setup. I probably recommend a smaller lens. On this, a bit wider one, this is a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Yeah, as I said earlier, this wasn't meant to be for vlogging, but with the flip screen, and now that I've upgraded to the Sony A7R III, yeah, this has kind of become my vlogging camera, and decent, it's pretty heavy. So yeah, do recommend the smaller lens, definitely recommend the microphone, and yeah, just any sort of tripod so you can set it up anywhere. The next camera gear I'll show you is my GoPro. I think this is the Hero Sessions 5 or Hero 5 Sessions. Um, it's attached to this mouthpiece here. Just so when I'm doing videos, you probably would have seen a few of my videos if you're watching this. Um, it gets my point of view, so I think people like that just because of who I am. Um, they like to see what I see, you know, going to a game or those types of things. So it does definitely give that cool look to it. These GoPros, they kind of started my passion around cameras and video, so definitely one to have in the bag. The drone I have is the Mavic Pro. I got it about two years ago. I was borrowing a mate's drone and I was just, yeah, I was so nerve wracking borrowing someone else's drone and flying it just because how much fun and how dangerous these things can be. It's definitely not a necessity for vlogging, but it definitely does give those extra shots and extra bit of B-roll that you can chuck into your videos. I think different countries have their own app to where you can fly a drone, so they're definitely good to download those apps and see where you can fly these drones because there's lots of rules around them now that everyone's got one, so make sure you brush up on the rules. Also on the end here, of my camera I've got a ND filter this is an ND8 it just helps when you're out in the sun and everything's real bright um, this will just dull the sun down a bit obviously when you drop your ISO down to a certain level everything still sometimes can be a bit bright so this helps with that and just darkens things up a little bit more so these ND filters definitely good for daytime droning but yeah that's my drone it's decent so the next piece of gear I like to show you is my laptop my MacBook Pro uh, I think I bought it in 2017 maybe. It's a bit slow with all the um, shots that I've been getting lately, you know, when I shoot them in 4K or a higher frame rate. Um, it does take a while to render, which is my next thing I'm going to talk about, which is the program I use. I use Final Cut Pro just because when I first started editing videos, I was using iMovie and it was kind of the easiest I think they're both made by Apple, so it was the easiest um, transition to move straight over to that. 
there was Adobe Premiere Pro, which I heard is awesome and a lot of professionals use it, but I'm just so locked down with Final Cut at the moment and um, yeah, I just don't want to change over. So speaking about laptops, definitely recommend one of these bad boys. Doesn't have to be this exact one. This is a Lacey uh, two terabyte hard drive. It's pretty decent, I'll tuck my stickers on there. But yeah, obviously when you're shooting a bit more, you need somewhere to store your footage. Try to keep as much memory off your laptop as you can and put it on here just so your laptop can operate a bit faster. And this little thing here, it's a adapter. Definitely recommend one of these just so you, when you're on the go, you can edit, you can take the card out of your cameras and just plug it straight into here, straight into the computer. So yeah, these two things definitely recommend as well. So the last piece of gear that I want to share with you guys is my new Sony camera. I got it about, uh, about two months ago, Jade? Yeah. About um, two months ago. I actually went into the shop to buy a new drone. Well, not buy a new drone, but upgrade my current drone. But I walked past this and I was just like, man, I have to get it. So yeah, this is obviously a dope camera. It's been what I've been shooting all my videos with lately. I got a new lens. The Sony lenses are real expensive, so I got a Tamron lens at the moment. It's the 28 to 75 millimeter. Dope camera, dope lens. Just loving this camera at the moment. I just wanted to make sure that you guys know to do your research before you buy any piece of gear. I'm definitely not a professional and I don't want you to make the wrong choice because of this video. I just wanted to show you guys what I use, show you guys my setup so that when I do get questions I can just send you guys a link to a video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at jordan.kahu and as always... Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>